OCN, Word of God to the World. Shalom and welcome to Testimonies. So every time this week, the same time, you'll be getting testimonies from us and call your friends to join us. There's so much power to hear what God has done for someone else and know that God can do the same for you. Amen? Amen. So I have my co-host today, and that's uh, Minister Martha Holland Johnson. And uh, she's sharing with us the testimonies. I mean, she has some outstanding testimonies. Mm -hmm. So every time we come around, just get ready. You'll hear more and more and more. Okay. So let's begin uh, with prayer. We're going to start with prayer. Call your friends and your mm -hmm. family members. And uh, let us open in prayer. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, just thanking you, Lord God, for a brand new day that you allowed us to see. We thank you, Lord God, that you encamp your angels around us always. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, for wisdom and knowledge and understanding of your word. We just give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We ask, Lord God, that you will continue to go out, Lord God, all over the nations, all over the countries, all in the cities, Father God. There's someone, Lord, that's waiting for you to speak to them, Lord, Amen. to touch their heart, their mind, their body, and soul. Amen. And, Father, we just come today just to say, Thank you. Thank we come you, today Lord. just Thank to lift you. up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you thank honor. You, we can't do anything without you. And thank Lord you, God, Lord. we just thank you for another opportunity to Amen. testify to what you've already done for us in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You Amen. want us to start with the opening yes. scripture? Yes. We're going to start with Revelation 12 and 11. And it reads, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their own lives unto death. And that's Revelation 12 and 11. And we're still going about doing testimonies, and the different testimonies that God has brought us through, and we pray that God is bringing you through different testimonies also, Amen. and that if you have not testified, we're praying that God would open up your eyes that you may be able to testify, that you may be able to speak, and let somebody know that you're a testimony too, and that they can be saved from the testimony. Amen. And again, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, mm -hmm. and they loved not their lives unto death. So don't be ashamed, don't be afraid to let somebody know where God has brought you from and what he brought you through in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, there's something you just said while you were praying. I mean, the anointing is so thick in here. You said, and they overcame, that they will overcome the enemy. We yes. just prayed. I'm summarizing what you, yes. what you just spoke mm -hmm. um, a few seconds ago. Do you know that you overcome the enemy that is trying to attack you mm -hmm. or has been attacking you or harassing you by you testifying? Amen. Amen. That's really what that scripture is saying. Amen. And they, believers, overcoming you know, the enemy, not a one-time thing. You overcome the enemy as you testify. There's so much power. When you are testifying, you're giving God the glory. Yes. You're yes. pointing at Jesus. Mm -hmm. You're Amen. saying, because of God, because of what Christ did for me, that's Amen. why I am here. It's about his grace. Yes. It's about his love for me. Mm -hmm. It's about his saving power. That's Amen. why... I am here. My God, thank you for that. That Amen. was beautiful. Amen. Oh, go ahead. And then, too, I want to go back again to say, don't be afraid to testify. Mm. Don't be ashamed to testify. If God has brought you through something, let somebody else know what he has brought you through. And any time that he gives you a testimony, that time is that time. Don't wait. Don't delay it. Because that's what the devil wants us to do. He wants us to forget what God has done. Hmm. So don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Said, I don't know what people are going to say. Don't worry about it. If God have healed you, testify. Hmm. If, he, if you have overcome so many different challenges in your life, testify. Hmm. Let somebody else know because you never know who's listening. You never know who's needing your help. You never know who's waiting for that one person to come and say you're not alone. You know, before you go on, <laughs> you know, being ashamed mm -hmm. and not testifying and not uh, allowing people to know what God has done for you, mm -hmm. 
There was a time my husband and I, we were so much in debt up to, I, I don't even know where to start. Yes. My husband was in medical school, mm -hmm. and I just came out of um, my first degree as an engineer, and we were having children. And um, we, we got to the place we couldn't pay our mortgage. We were in bankruptcy. Amen. Three times. Yes. They almost locked up our whole house and uh, locked us out or something. Amen. Bankruptcy three times. Today, we are debt free. Praise God. I mean, we are, we are <laughs> debt free. Amen. Debt free in our home. Mm -hmm. Debt free, no credit card, loan, or nothing. We are debt free. Amen. My husband and I are debt free. And, um, you know, I just wanted to testify that. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, I don't know what you're going through, but you have to testify. You Amen. have to thank God. You know, when we, <laughs> we were going through the court to save our house and all that, yes. when someone gave us $90,000 loan, yes. it was a big deal. Amen. Loan to just catch up. Yes. This is loan. To, this is not loan to pay up. This is loan to catch up so that Amen. they will not take our house. And today I'm looking at somebody helped us to catch up on our loan, and we were thinking that was a big breakthrough, and it was a big breakthrough yes. at that, that time. Amen. But today, as we are speaking, we are debt free. Hey, praise God. Okay. Amen. He, he so, will do it. <laughs> Amen. I'm telling you. Oh, I can share some testimonies too, and. Um, so don't be ashamed. I, I know someone is going, are you kidding? And we, you know, we're, our house is not Mickey Mouse house, okay? Amen. We're <laughs> dead free everywhere. Praise the, God. The cars that we drive free, everything we own in our home, we, we don't owe a dime. Everything that we have in our home, we don't have anything Amen. on loan. Even the television uh, studio, <laughs> everything is paid for. Praise God. It, we're debt free. Yes. You know, of course, you know, we pay for satellite every month. Mm -hmm. But um, going to our personal life, our own mm -hmm. personal life, we're debt free. Amen. So God can do it for you. He will. <laughs> but you tell, you tell him you will serve him and you will give to his kingdom. I'm talking about that. Amen. You know, we ask you to partner with us, and yes. uh, we want you to give to this station, OCN yes. Television. Amen. You know, we want you to be a partner to be able to share yes. the gospel of Jesus Christ to the, the ends of the world. The Amen. ends of the world. Okay, like getting back to the <laughs> testimonies. Amen. And, and, I, and also, I can testify to, as, as God, when you're helping people, and I had many days where... Uh, someone would call me and I would go pick them up. Uh, didn't have much gas to even go down the street, but I said, okay, and I said, yes. But one thing I found out about God was once I got into my car and I was driving, I said, Lord, I don't know where I'll be able to get there or not, but I'm going to go anyway. And I would see him raise the gas hands up in my car. Wow. And he'd done that many times. I didn't have to say I didn't have any money to come. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I said, no, I'm going to come. So I trusted and I believed God at his word. And when I got there, picked them up and took them wherever they needed to go. Then I went to another place. Somebody said, this money is for you. So I know what God can do. He already knows. So don't, don't be ashamed to tell, some, tell somebody. Step out on faith. And that's what I did. Amen. The car might have been almost on E, but I went anyway. Amen. And my car ended up getting a full tank of gas. Mm. But God has moved so many different times in the car as I've been driving. Even today, I would watch my gas hand go up. And all I would say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because he knows. He said we can be rich in him. Amen. We don't have to have money. Amen. We don't always have to have the, the money for, to say that we're rich. We're rich in Jesus Christ as long as we have him as our personal Savior. Amen. We're still rich. We're not poor. He Amen. paid the price for all of that. Amen. But trust God in everything that you do and just believe him and he'll step in. He's never late. Amen. And a lot of times people say, well, uh, I'm waiting on Jesus. Well, keep on waiting. And he's, <laughs> he's never late. And never. he's always on time. And I, as the song said, he may not come when you want him, mm. but he's always on time. Amen. Our time is not God's time. And we can't rush him. We have to have patience, even in testimonies. We have to wait in sickness and in health and 
all the different things that we go through, we have to wait on God. Because he don't move like a snap of your finger. He don't operate like that. He said, go about doing good and trust and believe in him and have faith. And he'll work all of it out for you. I'm a witness today that he's still doing it. Amen. You know, this is a good time to go to that next uh, um, scripture we have based on what we are talking about right now. First Peter 5 and 7 says, Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. And all you have to do is cast them and leave them there. Give it to God. He didn't say cast them and take them back. He said leave it at the altar. When you go to the altar, whatever you have told God, walk out and thank him. Start thanking him for what, he, what you want. Believe that he's already done it, and he will. But don't take it up and go back outside and say, I'm still waiting. Yes, you will be still waiting. Stop taking it back. Cast it. Give all your cares to him because he cares for us. Amen, amen. Amen. <laughs> Cast it to him. I like what you said, you know, don't take it back. Amen. So your altar is whatever you are. Your altar could be right there in the car when Amen. the enemy wants to play yes. games with your mind. Pray and cast that care to the Lord. So cast the care to him and don't take it back. How do Amen. you know you're taking it back? When you go back and say, well, I don't know if he's going to do this. I don't know. Mm -hmm. if, no, 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 no. That means that you're taking it back. Amen. When you cast it to him, that says it's no more. Yes. You have to believe and begin to thank him. Amen. And say, Lord, I, I, I am releasing this to you, and I'm going to walk away from here knowing that it's already done. Amen. And you begin to thank him. Just thank him, even when you don't feel it. Amen. Just thank him. You'll be amazed how he is going to come through. It's going to be in the form of earth quaking, miracles. Amen, amen. 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 <laughs> and to add to the casting, don't blame the pastor. Ooh. Don't blame the bishop mm. because your time is not God's time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sit back and patiently wait because a lot of times we can hinder our own blessings by blaming somebody else for what God didn't Ooh. do. You need to wait on him. Mm. Have patience and wait. It doesn't matter whether it's a year. It doesn't matter where it's 10. It doesn't matter where it's 50 years. Mm -hmm. God's timing is his timing. And if you wait patiently, he'll work and walk and heal and before you Amen. even know it. Mm. So stop blaming other folks for something cool. that, that you want done the next day. And God <laughs> can't operate like that. Mm -hmm. But the words that we speak, death and life, Let's go to that scripture. Um, death and life is in the power of our tongue. Proverbs 18 and 21. Yeah. Proverbs 18, 21. <clears throat> Proverbs 18 and 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So if you want death, then you keep speaking death. If you want life, then you need to speak life, because you can't have both. You can't have both. And we have to be very careful to how we say things and how we blame God for things that he had nothing to do with. So it's in our power to speak life. It's in our power that we can speak healing and just believe that God is the one that does the healing. And just wait patiently for him. Stop blaming the pastors. Stop blaming the bishop. Stop blaming the urges. Stop blaming everybody but yourself. It's in your power. <laughs> Death and life. I want us to talk more about this. Don't, don't leave this place now. Let's stay here. Now, there are times that people inflict, knowingly and unknowingly inflict things on you, mm -hmm. but you, still, you should still not go blaming them. Amen. For instance, you know, they may say things that hurt you so much. They may do things. They may sexually abuse you. Yes. They may uh, uh, abuse you mentally or emotionally, but now you have given your life to Christ. You know what the Word of God says. You should not use your mouth blaming them and blaming them and not forgiving and not letting go because you're doing it to yourself. Amen. Amen. And I've, I've been in situations that have done the same thing, and because I had to learn how to speak life, to myself, regardless of what the doctors have said, 
regardless of the names they have given me, it's up to me to speak it. Even if when you go to the doctor, and I had one nurse to tell me, she said, I need to check your high blood pressure. I looked at her, and I said, you need to check my what? And she said, uh, she said it again. I said, ma'am, the only thing I need you to do is check the blood pressure. That's all Wonderful. I need you to do. I don't need you to put high on it. I don't need you to put low on it. I don't need you to put anything on it. Just Amen. check it. And, and so you have to start talking that way because if you don't, you're going to walk out with everything that they say you have. And it's up to what us. What about saying check your diabetes? Oh, yes. The same, say, yeah. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can go back and tell you what happened to me in the emergency room one day. I went to the emergency room. And the pastor told me, she said, whatever the doctor says, she said, keep saying, no, you don't. I didn't understand it, but I did it. And I ended up going to the hospital, being checked out. And when he came in the room, and he said, Miss Johnson, I need to check your diabetes. I said, no, you don't. And no, I don't. And I don't. I mean, I went to all kind of uh, conversations with him. And he looked at the chart, and he found out that was not my name. Someone else had put another patient in there. And if I had to receive what he said, I would not be here today. Hmm. And that's what I told him. I, no, I don't. And I kept singing like a song. No, I don't. And didn't have no idea that somebody made a mistake. So you have to be very careful to what you receive. And I wasn't about to receive that. I don't care what they say runs in the family. I said, it's going to run past me. And I have kept that for years. And I continue to walk in that. And it's, it's in our power. It's in our power. Let's go back to that Proverbs 18, 21, um, mm -hmm. Minister Martha. You know, read that one more time. <clears throat> Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So you love it when you continue to speak death. You love it when you continue to speak life. So you have to choose to do one. Amen. Now, what Mr. Martha is saying is in accordance to what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Jesus told them when Lazarus, the friend, was dead, he said, no, he's not dead. But he was already buried. Now, mm -hmm. was Jesus lying? As far as Jesus was concerned, he did not see him spiritually dead. He saw him, whatever that he was seeing in the spirit realm is what Lazarus must be. He saw in the spirit realm that Lazarus is going to be up and running. Amen. And that was what happened when he got there. He called him forth and Lazarus came forth. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. You've got to choose what you want to be the truth. Now, so you go to the hospital and they see some numbers and, and say, well, we need to check your high blood pressure. Just like what she said. You tell them, no, you check the blood pressure. Amen. Don't don't call it high or low. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're, you're telling them the truth is that I don't. You don't have high blood pressure or Amen. low Amen. blood pressure. They just check blood pressure. Very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Don't bite your tongue to correct them. Amen. And Amen. let them know you are a child of God and you don't want them inflicting anything on you by the words Amen. that they speak over you. And you don't speak those things over yourself. Amen. You are not in denial what the number is showing. You are just saying those are facts. Yes. But the truth of the word of God is that with Jesus' tribes, you were made whole. Amen. First Amen. Peter 2.24, Psalm 107, verse 20. God sent his word, Jesus yes, Christ, he Yeshua HaMashiach. He sent his word and his word healed me. Healed Amen. you, healed Amen. us. Thank you, Lord. If you believe it, that's what you speak. That's life that you speak. Amen. So it doesn't matter what the doctors are saying. And listen, we believe in the doctors. We we have doctors in the church. My husband yes. is a doctor. Amen. We have doctors. Yes. But the doctors will also tell you that they are just going by what they have given to them. Yes. When you have these symptoms and this, 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 you call it this. That's true. What about believing what God has said from Genesis to Revelation? And many, many men and women and boys and girls have tested yes. and seen that God's word. Oh, we have another scripture about that. Yes. What about Hebrews 13, 8? Let's go there. Amen. 
Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Jesus Christ have not changed. His word still stands. And we have to just continue to believe in his word, stand on his word, and trust in his word. And not saying, oh, I believe it today, and I don't believe it tomorrow. His word is not going to change. We do the changing, but we should stand fast on Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. And I'll go back to another situation when COVID came. When COVID came in, it's so many different things had come, and people tend to forget that God still exists. And at one point, they told me that I was diagnosed with COVID. I did not panic. I didn't get scared. And the only thing that came out of my mouth was the devil's a liar. Mm -hmm. And I told one of my brothers that came, came here to visit. And I only went and had the test because of him being around someone. His test came out negative. Mine came out positive. And so I knew the devil was a liar. Mm -hmm. And so if you run with these things and you let fear jump in, then you end up having all of these diseases. Mm -hmm. They overtake you and they get into your mind. But I had to remember God did not change. His word had not changed. He died and he shed his blood. Mm -hmm. and, he, and, and by his stripes, I remember that Jesus said I was mm -hmm. healed. Amen. So I didn't claim COVID. Amen. And I, I, everybody that came and told me, I said, God's have word have not changed. Amen. If you have to take medication, pray on it. Ask God to let it work for the purpose that they gave it to you. Mm -hmm. That's what I had to do. Mm -hmm. Don't believe that you're not going to survive. Mm -hmm. If you believe it, you won't. But by the grace of God, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to continue to live as long as God would have me mm -hmm. and long life. Amen. So stand on his word. Amen. Believe that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Don't, you can't change his word because his word is not changeable like that. You have to just stand on it and believe in it Amen. and continue to walk in his word. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Let's go to he Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. It reads, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And even going through changes with your physical body as health-wise, you may not see it, but keep the faith that God will heal you. I'm a witness to what God can do. Hope, you have to keep the hope and the evidence. You may not see it right then, but if you keep on with the faith, if you continue to stand on his word, you will see the evidence. Don't tell God, oh, I want this tomorrow. Oh, I want this the next day. I want this the few minutes. Just believe that when you ask him, he have done it already. Amen. Just stand. Amen. Continue to stand. Amen. And I hear Bishop say all the time, after you stand, stand, stand some, some more. more. Amen. And you keep on standing. You don't put it down. Amen. You don't have challenges where I don't believe he's going to do it. If you believe that, then he won't. So have the faith. You may not see the substance, mm -hmm. but if you keep believing, you will. I'm a witness, Amen. and we will go into that at another time. <laughs> because of time, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we will talk about that another time. But, you know, the, the, the truth is when you continue to speak it, yes. your body will start lining up to what you're saying. I'm Amen. telling you. Yes, you it know? will. And, yes, it will. And, and surround yourself with people that will also be speaking like you speak. Yes. Th that's yes. another thing that's important. Mm -hmm. And go to Bible study, whatever you are, and listen to programs like this on yes. OCN. Yes. So you continue to be encouraged. See, when you are out there in the world, mm -hmm. you see different things and you hear different things. Yes. You have to make yourself mm -hmm. to hear the word of God. Really? Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. And we have to stop using COVID as an excuse not to assemble ourselves together. Mm. Because we use COVID not to come to serve God. We use COVID not to praise God. But mm. the minute a storm hit, 
Hmm. Everybody run back to God. Hmm. But don't let it be where you don't hmm. know whether you're going to make it to the door the next time. Hmm. You can go to the grocery stores. You can go to work. But do not stop forgetting to come together to praise God. He, hmm. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He have not changed. Mm -mm. So we need to make some change. If you want God to work for you, then you need to come and see how he's working. Amen. You need to come and hear his word. Amen. You need to come and just uh, protest. Mm. Testimony. Tell somebody what God has done for you. Mm. He didn't tell you to go outside and stay out there. Mm. He didn't tell you to go out there in the cold without a jacket. Mm. But if you come into the house of God, if you're hot, he'll cool you down. If, if you need mm. help, he'll help you. Mm. But don't wait until a storm comes mm. and you find out you can't make it into the building. A and that's when many believers get into anxiety yes because now you you're running to church mm -hmm. when you're praying you're anxious yes because you want you want a miracle like yesterday mm -hmm. but when you develop that relationship with him whereby you go to church whether there's rain whether amen. there's sunshine amen. just a relationship yes. you know to be honest with you minister martha i do not understand why people will not want to i mean Mm -hmm. Even having fellowship with one another. Yes. <laughs> I am true. encouraged. I am in, I increase because I have her. Yeah. She increases because I'm here. Amen. You increase because of another believer that mm -hmm. you yes. are allowing in your life. When you go to church, you increase because of the people there. The Amen. anointing is thicker. That's why the word of God says, do not have... Uh, 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 Absent yourself from yes. fellowshipping with one another. Amen. Don't forsake. Mm -hmm. He said it. Don't forsake. You know, it's, a, it's almost like a command. Mm -hmm. Don't forsake the fellowship of fellow believers. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important wherever you are. Run to church where Christ Jesus is being preached. Yes. You will not understand how this anointing works in its totality, but it's different. Yes. When two or more are gathered together, it's Amen. totally different. It is true. Be a believer mm -hmm. that will seek after the things of God by going to Bible study. Amen. Go and hear over and over and over and over. Amen. 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 Praise God. Just don't oh, forget. we are. We have to do the Holy Communion. We're almost <laughs> out of time. Okay. <laughs> you just have to join us. And <laughs> join us next time. So we need to do this. Okay. We're getting ready to do the communion, and, and uh, just, just don't forget that everything that God has done for us, Jesus Christ has done for us, he's paid the price. So don't keep thinking that he's going to continue to pay the price. He paid it already. Amen. And he, he have went and he gave his Ooh. life for us, that we may have the right to the tree of life. He have done that already. It's up to us just to walk in it and to believe that God has already done it. And it's not something that we do just to be seen. It's not something we do just to be shown on, on the TV or anything like that. But God said he paid the price for us. Mm -hmm. He shed his blood for us. And he's done all those things already that we may be healed. But he said well, he healed us already. You have to just want to walk in it. Amen. And you have to believe that he's healed you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I hold this bread Let before you, Lord, as a reminder, reminder of your body, which was broken for me. Thank I thank you. you for bearing all of my diseases and pain. I number myself among the healed. My body is a tabernacle of God and not the house of disease. As I eat this bread in faith, I remember you, and by your suffering, I am healed today. Let's eat. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The blood. Let's hold our cup up. Okay. <clears throat> I hold this cup, cup of, of wine before you, Lord, Lord as a reminder of your blood, blood, which was shed for me. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you for paying the price for all my sins. sins. You, you bore, bore my, my guilt and shame. shame. I, I now have dignity. I number myself among the righteous. The righteous. I, I am redeemed. As, as I drink this cup in faith, I remember you. And by your blood, I am clean today. Amen. Let's lift up our right hand, thanking. Thank you, thank Jesus. You, Jesus. I, I do remember, remember you. you. Thank, thank you for my healing. Thank, thank you for my salvation. salvation. Thank you that I'm in fellowship with you. Thank you that I'm one with my brothers and sisters. Thank you for the life that is in us. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Well, this is so powerful. You, now you have to join us again next week because I tell you, this testimony today just took another turn. Okay? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and so all the other things that we planned for today, the Lord is saving that for another day, but he brought what Amen. he wants you to hear Praise today. God. So we're looking forward to seeing you and hearing from you. Yes. Please write us. And this Amen. is Minister Martha. Write and tell us that you watched and that you are blessed. And we Amen. want to hear your own testimony. Yes. How God Thank is you touching Lord. your life from these testimonies. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Until next time, know this. God loves you, so do we. Amen. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. OCN, Word of God to the World.